this is pitter patter. It's basically a sequencer and sample player. You can play it with the grid or you can play it with a MIDI controller. The idea is that there's a little thing just goes across and you can load notes into it by pressing keys. And when the crosshair thing passes a note, it emits that note. So we can put in notes by pressing on this line in the grid. And you'll notice that when you toggle them, they won't be emitted. If you press it really fast, you'll constantly toggle and untoggle them, but it will only play once it passes that column. And same thing in the MIDI controller. You can just play notes and it'll be putting it inside. Uh, you can scroll through the notes using this button here in the far right. It's always the same on any grid. It will scroll through different octaves. You can also just scroll through here and it will move the corresponding note pools here. You can press notes, toggle them on and off. Just turn them all off maybe, slowly. Uh, if you press one and then press another, it'll draw a line across. So you can do kind of like sweeps. Um, yeah, that's it for the grid and the MIDI controller. On here, you have a bunch of options. You have four different sequences. You have different sounds. You can change. These are all MX sample sounds. So let's go to maybe a piano or a guitar and enter some things. Let's clear this sample. Here we have. So I clear the sample by holding K1 and pressing K3. Um, you can change with this one which sequence you're on. So this is sequence two. You can change the direction that it plays. You can change the, oh, I already showed this, sweeping through the different notes. If you hold this button, you can change, you can kind of manually do it. So if we stop it from playing, we can actually move it forward and backward, oops, with this. When you hold this one, it will actually change how fast it plays. So we can play faster or slower. If you hold this K1 and then turn this, you would change these velocity profiles, which is how it plays a single note, um, whether it's just straight or with some kind of like syncopation. And then there's a ton of things in here under the sequences. You can set your MIDI ins and outs. You can change your scales. You can change the direction, probability. Um, you can have the MIDI outs, volume attack. Oh, delay is kind of cool. You can change the volume. Oh, I'm editing sequence one, let's edit sequence two. Let's increase the volume. Add some delay. Press this to stop it. Uh, hold K1 and press this to clear it. And yeah, that's about it. Have fun.